Welcome to the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio mobile app. The following demonstration is for the iPhone. Navigate to the AFR app on your iPhone, the little on-air icon, and select it to open. If you've not logged onto the app before, you'll be prompted to fill in your username, your password, and your server address and port. After these details have been entered, press the Sign In button. The application loads displaying the stack widget point of view. At the bottom of the screen is a menu bar. The menu bar contains shortcuts which allow you to toggle between the available widgets in the AFR mobile app. The stack widget consists of two parts, the header and the list of elements. In the header, from the top, the name of the currently loaded radio station is displayed. If there are multiple radio stations configured, you can select the radio station name and a list will appear allowing you to select another radio station to view and edit. To the left of the radio station name is the settings icon to adjust the configuration of the AFR mobile app, and to the right, the preview button to preview media assets. Below the radio station name is the countdown timer and automatic manual button. Pressing this button will toggle the stack between automatic and manual modes. To the right of the countdown timer is the time of day clock and back timer, the stack widget status, and the reload and pause buttons. In both manual and automatic modes, pressing the pause button pauses the currently playing media asset. The play button next to the on-air event will change to read paused. Pressing the pause button again resumes playback of the media asset. In both automatic and manual modes, clicking the play button next to the on-air event will stop audio playback. The color of the reload button will change to orange. Pressing the orange reload button or the blank circle button next to the stopped media asset starts playback of the stopped event from the beginning. Below the header is the list of events in the stack widget. This list is scrollable. The top position of the list of events displays the media asset currently being played. The status of this event is also shown in the bottom of the screen in the menu bar playback timer. When there is an intro time marker present in the media asset, both locations will display a countdown timer to the post of the song. To the left of each entry in the list are play buttons, which allow you to manually start any playable event in the stack widget. This functionality is active in both automatic and manual modes. Using the AFR mobile app, you can also change the position of any event in the stack. To do so, press and hold the item you wish to move. Wait until the blue border appears around the selected item, drag the selected item to the desired position, and release it. Using this click and drag action, you may also delete items from the stack. Press and hold the item you wish to delete. Wait until the blue border appears around the selected item, Drag the selected item to the red Remove Media Asset area at the bottom of the stack and release it. We hope you've enjoyed this overview of the stack widget on the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio mobile app for the iPhone. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, 
please email us at afrvideos at wideorbit.com.